right, today I'm reviewing the SEMA Q9 Caesar Remote Control Speedboat. I don't know if you can see that all right. Uh, they say it runs fast, has a waterproof hatch. I'm not gonna lie, I sure as heck hope so, being that it's a boat and it goes in the water, but it does have twin propellers. So let's check out and see what's inside, shall we? All right, so <laughs> it's packed well. It's a nice thick styrofoam here. Battery is packed well. Okay, so you've got your boat. Oh, I'd say it's about like 10 inches. Look at that. Here's your twin propellers. Your remote. Forward, backward, turn. All right. Charging cord, your battery, screwdriver, this is happy uh, on a sunny day, not happy on a rainy day, and everything's written in English, I like that, instructions written in English, so, um, being that I'm at a uh, a hotel slash resort type place right now, I can actually go and throw this in the pool and see what happens. It actually comes with, well, this is cool. There's a battery inside the boat and a second one here. So it actually comes with two batteries. Very cool. So... Unless the other battery goes in here, let's let's check this out. Nope, two double A's. I think I might have to take some out of the TV remote. Borrow them out of the TV remote. So, um. I'm going to charge the batteries and we'll head on down to the pool and check it out, see how fast it goes. So my overall opinion on the 09 Caesar radio controlled boat, is it all that it claims to be? Runs fast, waterproof hatch, and twin propellers, and, and uh, easy to use? Okay, first off, it is easy to use. It's very simple. You, you turn on the power on the remote. Once the boat touches the water, that's when it turns on. Outside of the water, won't work at all. Is it fast? Um, actually, surprisingly, it is for the size. I mean, it's it's not like, you know, just super duper fast. It's fast. We made some serious waves in this thing. Just took it like a champ. Didn't slow down <laughs> at all. It's very difficult to flip, by the way. I went and just pushed the water down as hard as I could, and the, the boat just stayed upright. It wasn't until I just like really thrashed it that that boat tipped over. 
it is waterproof. Uh, the waterproof hatch that it says that it has, it really does have it. Um, twin propellers, yeah, it, it does have it. There's a little rudder in the back, so if it starts like veering off to the side, you just twist, turn it just a little, and it'll it'll get the the boat going straight, just like any radio controlled car. Overall opinion on this, this thing's fun. All my kids loved playing with it. Um, they thought it was a blast. Uh, perfect for a pool. I've got a canal like right by my house. I almost put it in there to uh, give it a shot and see how well it handled, but it's moving pretty quick. I don't recommend putting it in like a uh, fast moving water because it will one, run your battery down quickly. Uh, to the the control the overall control of it may not be what you want it to be if you if you lose it at some point it's gone so i would recommend pools or a lake um and the distance i mean it went i don't know 30 feet from the remote and and was still good so you know, you can take it out in the lake, zip it around, and have, have a good time. It's fun. It's perfect for kids. So, with uh, Christmas being like, oh, can you believe Christmas is almost like six months away? With Christmas coming up, birthdays, whatever, sick and tired of being stuck inside with the, with the quarantine stuff, and you just need an excuse to get out, get a boat, go down to a pond or wherever, and play with it. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get your own boat. I strongly recommend it. It's even good for adults who, you know, need something kind of therapeutical, if you will. So, there you have it. I give the boat a thumb up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share, because sharing is caring. We'll see you later. Bye.